okay let us start with the next one that is meter symbols so here we are using these meters to measure voltage current resistance and uh, power here so in our laboratory we have voltmeter ammeter ohmmeter so let us look at different meters we are using in our laboratory first one voltmeter in voltmeter so we can use this symbol for the circuit diagram so it will be having v inside the circle and we have analog voltmeter and digital voltmeter so analog voltmeter is the old one you can observe here the analog voltmeter is having one needle here so it can have a range from 0 to 5 volts so it can measure up to 0 to 5 volts so this is old analog uh, voltmeter next uh, ammeter ammeter is used to measure the current so actually it is going to measure the current in the lab we are having a an analog ammeter so which measures in milliamperes here so this is analog one so it has a needle which can uh, show the result from 0 to 100 milliampere so the symbol for ammeter is a here so a indicates ammeter next is ohmmeter ohmmeter is to measure the resistance so we are using different resistances in our laboratory that resistance value can be measured by using a ohmmeter so we can uh, see here so there is a ohmmeter so ohmmeter it is a analog ohmmeter so it will measure different uh, resistances here you can see this ohms is written here so this will take different ranges so we can measure the resistance by using these two wires here cables here and next uh, uh, next is as these all are we are uh, using our analog one so in our lab regularly we use a multimeter here so digital multimeters are there so old analog multimeter is this one so this is actually measuring uh, both uh, resistance uh, um, uh, current and voltage so this is used you can see the dc range voltage is also it is going to measure ac uh, voltages and current also it will measure and here we are having digital multimeter actually what we are using in the laboratory for every experiment you can see that there are different uh, digital multimeter we are having so this is one tab this is another uh, another one so these are having different facilities uh, from which we can measure different parameters here so here you can observe here so this is a off button so whenever you start using this you have to uh, change this knob uh, for measuring uh, voltage you can keep it at any uh, position for ac voltage here you can uh, place where the sine wave symbol is there for dc voltage you can place uh, where the line is there line the that dc voltage uh, dc line you can see here so and next this is in terms of millivolts you can measure in uh, millivolts also and this uh, is to you measure ohms that is resistance so ohm symbol is given here you can keep it at this ohm position just to measure the resistance to measure diode here the diode symbol is there so here to measure current that is in terms of microampere so you can keep it at microampere position next in terms of milliampere also you can measure you can keep it at milliampere position so like this you can measure the current in terms of amperes 10 amperes and uh, here the last button is to off so this is one multimeter what we are using it is a digital multimeter because of the digital display so this is another one uh, uh, multimeter so which we can use in our lab huh? so here also you can see that there are different uh, parameters uh, for which we can measure so the here this is for ac signal ac current and uh, to measure ac uh, current we can keep it at these positions and we to measure dc current we can keep it at these position this knob can be kept at these positions here and you can see that the you can it can measure milliampere also and microampere the dc current and next uh, here for continuity test or the diode test you can use uh, this uh, uh, position you can keep it at this position to measure the diode next these are uh, this range here you can see that this is used to measure the resistance with a different range. ranges here in kilo ohm and in mega ohm okay next is this is hfe is to measure the transistor and here you can see that this is used to measure uh, voltage here here you can keep it at this any position here this this is used to measure the dc voltage next here this range here 
from this uh, uh, 200 millivolt to 700 volt so you can make use of this to measure the ac voltage so to measure so you have to use these two uh, you know, probes here to connect uh, to measure voltage, uh, resistance or current, these can be used. We can see that the, for positive connection, for uh, positive we are using this red one uh, cable and the negative we are using the black one. So this is uh, the uh, form, uh, the um, actually procedure we should follow for the circuit doing connections also, circuit connections also. So colors are very important uh, so that will avoid the confusion when you are conducting the experiments. So another one is, uh, so here, we have a LCR meter. So LCR meter which will measure uh, the inductance. Here you can see this. The L is there. So inductance and capacitance C is there here. And for resistance ohm is there. So this multimeter we can use it for measurement of only inductance, capacitance and resistance. Suppose if you want to measure resistance you can keep it at any range here depending upon the resistance value. The ranges are there. So it can uh, take the values from 20 hertz to 20 ohms to 2000 uh, mega ohm and here HFE is there this is used to measure the transistor actually and here you can see that this is used to measure the capacitance you can keep uh, there is a uh, capacitance at these ranges it can measure from uh, 2000 picofarad to 200 uh, microfarad next uh, uh, L that it that it is used to measure the inductance you can move the knob here to whenever you are measuring the inductance so here also you can see that this can uh, have the value from 20 milli henry to 20 henry so these uh, cables can be used to connect the uh, inductor uh, resistor as well as capacitance so this is a positive one uh, terminal to be connected and this is to be connected to a negative terminal. So these are uh, some different meters we are using in uh, our laboratory for the measurement of uh, uh, current uh, voltage and uh, uh, resistance and these are, uh, once again I will repeat, these are analog uh, uh, meters to measure. These, uh, this is an analog multimeter to measure and presently what we are using in our lab is uh, the digital multimeter so which is a very handy and user friendly uh, to measure so this covers uh, the different meters what we are using in our laboratory. Okay, next let us study uh, the lamp light or bulb symbol here so the lamp or bulb is indicated with this symbol or this symbol or this symbol here so all these three symbols we can use it for indicating the lamp symbol so lamp what actually does is it generates light when current flows through it so whenever the current flows through the bulb lamp the uh, the this lamp will glow the light next is diode so the diode here we are using the symbol in the circuit connection this is anode this is cathode it has two terminals positive and negative we call it as anode and cathode so what diode does is it allows current flow in one direction only so only in one direction either in positive direction or in negative direction it allows the current to flow so here we can see the diode what we are using in the lab so this is actual diode actual diode what we are using in the lab so you can find the white or silver line here so this white or silver line so what you are seeing here is so this is actually a cathode so this terminal is cathode terminal so this terminal is no terminal so this identification is done by this white strip or silver strip here so add on this diode so like this you can have different uh, diodes here so this is another number so this is of a different diode but uh, this also you will be having a negative terminal indication is given by a white strip here so this is cathode so this side is anode so you can connect so this in the circuit diagram so this is anode connection positive and this is negative connection you can use it so these are uh, normal diodes basic diodes so next comes uh, uh, Zener diode. So this is a Zener diode. What you are using in the lab is this is a Zener diode. So Zener diode is different from the normal diode here. So the symbol for uh, Zener diode is this one. You can see here the symbol for Zener diode is different from this normal diode. So the Z symbol you can observe here. So this indicates it is a Zener diode. And uh, what is the speciality of Zener diode is it allows the current flow in one direction but also can flow in the reverse direction. So whenever there is a breakdown voltage. So 
suppose plus 12 uh, minus 12 volt or minus 10 volts it will be designed like that so after that the current starts flowing that we call it as a zener breakdown voltage so this actually this is a one example for zener diode what we are using in our lab it is very small red colored here but in this we can identify which is anode and cathode so black strip what you are observing here at the end, this black strip is uh, at the this black line is negative, that is a cathode, and uh, this this side is anode. So this is uh, taken as positive uh, positive terminal connection. This is connected to negative. So this is cathode. This is anode. Next we have a light emitting diode. So light emitting diode. What this does is it emits the light when the current flows through this. So whenever the current is flowing through the LED, it emits the light. So there are some uh, examples uh, we have in our lab. So this is uh, LED, a form of LED. And here we have uh, the light emitting diode symbol is, you can see that the normal diode symbol is there. With this, uh, the emission of light is shown with the arrow mark here. So this emission of light indicates that this uh, it is a light emitting diode. So they are, they will, you will be finding these light emitting diode with the different colors. So here, we, here we can uh, have red, green, white like this. So this emits the light whenever the current is uh, passing through it. Next is we have a photodiode and what photodiode is also uh, actually looks very similar to uh, this uh, normal diode, normal LED but photodiode function is it allows the current flow when exposed to light. So whenever this photodiode is exposed to light then only it allows to flow the current. Next is we have a transistor. So transistor uh, is the next uh, uh, application of a diode here. So we can uh, make use of different transistor here in our lab. We have NPN bipolar transistor and PNP. There are major uh, types is NPN and PNP. So the transistor will look like this. So these are the different transistor what we are using in the lab. So here you can use uh, this one or this one depending upon the number it can be taken as NPN or PNP. So here this will be having three terminal. So here you can see that EBC emitter base collector. So from the notch if we start. So this is a notch you can see here. So from this notch this is uh, we are going to start with emitter. Then this is base. This is collector. So these are three terminals. So in case of uh, uh, PNP and NPN, so only it all depends on the numbers what we are using. So here you can see that the NPN transistor allows the current flow when the high potential is at the base. So basic new jasti current kotaga awaga idu it will work. Uh, it will be turned on. So when uh, the current is uh, high current is flowing at the base, when the low current is flowing at the base, then this uh, PNP transistor will be turned on. So this is the main difference between NPN and PNP. So this works uh, when uh, when the base base gets the high current. So this works when PNP when the base uh, gets the low current. So these are the uh, different uh, transistors what we are using in the laboratory. Next is uh, actually. Let, let us study next uh, the remaining components what we are using in our lab. Uh, this is the main component uh, that is a transformer uh, which actually transforms the voltage from high voltage to low voltage or low voltage to high voltage. Uh, so it has uh, uh, primary and secondary connection. So this, this is used to connect to the main power supply. So this is used to connect to the, our circuitry. And here you can see that this has a specification from 12 uh, 12 0 12 so it can provide uh, the voltage of uh, 24 volts if you give the main supply 230 volts then it is transformed it is uh, lower to uh, voltage uh, that is maximum 12 0 12 okay then we have a fuse here so this is uh, a fuse so you can, we can get it in different uh, types and also different sizes so this actually protects our circuitry whenever the high current flows inside the circuit next is actually a uh, bridge rectifier this one so in case of rectifier we will be studying in uh, electronics part uh, so for bridge rectifier we are using four diodes different diodes so this is a diode single diode uh, actually what we have seen in the previous uh, part uh, so here we have connected four different diodes in a bridge fashion this is used in the rectifier so instead of using uh, uh, the bridge uh, in this fashion, uh, we can also make use of this uh, module, bridge rectifier module in the uh, rectifier circuit. So this will be having four uh, leads here huh? to indicate four diodes here. 
next we have a induction motor motor we are having this so this will actually uh, turn on and it will rotate so whenever uh, the supply is given to this so this is a dc motor next this is a loud speaker so here you can see that this loud speaker actually converts the electrical signal into a sound so where, where which we can uh, actually hear from this and here we have integrated circuit ic chip it is integrated circuit inside uh, this ic you'll be having a number of uh, transistor number of diodes connected it is compact so it will be getting different microcontroller ic's so the ic name will be written on this here on this you can see the name of the ic that will be written so this is another ic which is having a uh, less number of pins here so this is a triple five IC which is used in the analog electronics lab. Next remaining keys, uh, we are using this uh, breadboard here for uh, circuit connection to check and uh, uh, here you can see this, uh, the diode is having number of uh, points here. So these all are vertically connected uh, to do the connection. You can connect it vertically for uh, shorting. And here these are all horizontally con connected inside. For connection you can make use of either this horizontal uh, line here connection here or vertical. And to cut the single strand wire we have a cutter here. So this is called as a cutter. And you can see that one PCB which is uh, uh, made uh, uh, by our uh, old students, senior students. You can see this, this is a PCB connection and here where the soldering is done. And you can see the components are put uh, and they are connected here. So this is a capacitor. So this is a IC here, integrated circuit. So these are single strand wire. wire to indicate different colors, uh, different colors are used to indicate uh, positive and negative ground and this is a uh, IC regulator IC here. So this is uh, a transformer which supplies the voltage from main supply and it lowers the voltage to the, uh, to provide a low voltage to the circuitry. So this is one example what you can see. So from this uh, we can uh, say that we have studied the different components which we have used which we are using in our uh, electrical and electronics laboratory.